everyone. Thank you for joining us for another week of Coffee and Chiropractic, uh, 40 weeks of Katie edition. Hello. I'm Dr. Nicole Heatherly. We have Katie Engelhart here. Um, so today, or this week, Katie is 17 weeks pregnant. Um, so yeah, you're almost halfway there. Good job. <laughs> Uh, so 17 weeks means the baby is the size of a pomegranate, which is so cool. It's, it's so odd to think that it's that big. Yeah, it? it feels like it's that's huge. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I, I <laughs> mean, you I, start from a poppy seed and now you're like a pomegranate, which is like five inches. You're like, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, a pomegranate is pretty big. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's pretty big in there. So uh, some things going on with the baby in the womb. Um, currently, at this point in time, the heart is regulated by the brain, oh, cool. which is a pretty cool um, fact because it, and it's fun for me too because I'm a chiropractor and chiropractors deal with the nervous system mm -hmm. and the nervous system is comprised of the brain and the spinal cord, which can, uh, controls every function in your body. So it's so cool that the heart is now being controlled by what we as chiropractors work with. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Another cool little fun fact um, is that the baby now has fingerprints. So they're, they're cool. forming fingerprints, all the little ridges on their yeah. skin. So it's just fun to think about that, yeah, that they have fingerprints now. Um, so some things going on with um, the mom. You know, obviously a pregnant mommy, their baby is uh, growing in there and your tummy is expanding. We showed you guys Katie's baby bump last mm -hmm. week. Um, so a lot of times with, you know, the uh, stretching of the skin, stretch marks come along with that. So I always recommend, you know, before you get to that point, you can use um, cocoa butter. That, that's a common thing. But there are some really good essential oils that, okay. that are really good for things like stretch marks or preventing it. Um, so frankincense is a really good one. Now, it is a pricey oil, okay. um, but frankincense would be a good one. Lavender oil, another essential oil that's really healing for the skin, that's mm -hmm. really good. Um, and, you know, if you wanted to conserve the oils, you can mix them with something. So I always recommend coconut oil is really good. It has a lot of good fatty acids. Um, so it's going to be like a lotion. I actually use uh, coconut oil for my lotion. Oh, okay. So I wow. always recommend, yeah. you know, if you can find as many things natural as possible, I literally have a jar of coconut oil that I rub on my skin. Wow, okay. That um, sounds great. So, or you can use the oils neat, which means you're just putting them right on the skin. Okay. But either way, you know, maybe it's something you want to start, start yeah, with I'll now. Yeah, I'll definitely start. I have so, both of those at home, so I can yeah. start that tonight. Yeah, and the big thing with stretch marks is you want to, the reason why you want to do it beforehand is because once they're there, they're there. They're okay. actually, um, they're kind of stretching the, the dermis, the bottom layer of your skin that cannot be repaired after oh my the fact. So it's important to, to be uh, proactive with that. Cool. Um, another thing that's happening with moms, um, we talked about a few weeks ago, we talked about how uh, hormones are raising and lowering and because of the fluctuations um, in the hormones, it can cause congestion and, and a lot of sniffles. So along with that congestion, I always hear a lot of husbands of the pregnant moms complain that their wife is now snoring, and they're oh like, goodness. what the heck is this? They're pregnant, and now they're snoring? Oh, um, wow. Have you had any any snoring? Has, no Chad, has Chad complained? No complaints from my husband so far. I don't know if he's just smart enough not to complain. or That, that could be it. That just, could be it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to ask him. <laughs> Chad's a patient at our office, yeah. um, so he's a pretty laid-back guy, so I, I think he may just not be telling you that. He may, but, I don't know. He's told me in the past, like, if I've been sick, he's uh, been like, uh, uh, hello, you're snoring. <laughs> so maybe I haven't started yet. We'll yeah. have to see. Who knows? But just so you know, if you do start snoring, it is normal. Okay. Um, and it'll go away as, as hormones uh, start to regulate a little Interesting. more. So um, you guys can be expecting that possibly. Another big thing I hear with, with pregnant moms, um, especially, you know, when you're getting to the halfway point, are a lot of headaches mm. and sometimes carpal tunnel-like syndrome. Interesting. Um, so, you know, numb, carpal tunnel is, is numbness, tingling, or pain into the wrists or hands. And the reason is because as your spine is changing, as your belly's growing, your, your low back kind of uh, bends a little a certain way, um, which causes the top, the base of your neck, to also curve a certain way. So there's more pressure on those nerves that are coming from your lower neck, and those are the nerves that go to the arms. So that's okay. why I have a lot of moms coming in with headaches or carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, a lot of times they'll say, oh, my wrists kill me at night, too, mm -hmm. and, and that's because of the head position. Wow. Um, so you always want to make sure you have a really good supportive pillow to support the neck, and then also just getting your adjustments. Yeah. Um, you know, because we know chiropractic helps 
maintain proper alignment. So it's even more imperative for a pregnant patient with the changes in their spine to, to get adjusted. Um, I was just saying to you yesterday, like, I don't know how people get through <laughs> pregnancy without chiropractic because it is just, I mean, you have your aches and pains and it has just been so helpful for me. So, yeah, yeah, it, it definitely is a, a lifesaver. Um, so, so just how we talked about, you know, those nerves from your neck go to your arms, um, you know, those nerves from the low back go to the legs. Okay. So another common thing that I hear from moms, again, as the, as the belly is expanding and it's pulling on that low back, I also hear of a lot of patients with low back pain. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know that's something that, that you sure. have. And he's like, what is going on? Why am I having back pain? Yeah. Do you want to share a bit about yeah, that? Yeah. I mean, I, I have been a regular chiropractic patient for almost four and a half years now and I'm so used to not having any symptoms because I'm just wellness um, that I definitely notice um, it's freaking me out I know it's normal it's a part of pregnancy but um, uh, I have a good amount of low back like just aching and it, it hurts when I try to bend forward and um, it gets worse after I've been like on my feet for a long time or especially if I've been walking for a long time so I've been keeping up with my adjustments because, like I said, I can't imagine um, not. Because every time I get adjusted, they find that there is there's a misalignment in my low back that needs to be adjusted. So, um, definitely been keeping up with that. So I'm yeah. glad that I have it. <laughs> yeah, good. And Katie's, Katie is really good about keeping up with her adjustments. And if she ever forgets, you know, we we of course would remind her. <laughs> um, so you know, some of the ways that you can help some of those low back symptoms. Um, and and you're lucky in that it's just your low back. Yeah. Um, some moms come in and tell me, oh my gosh, I have sciatica, you know, and for those of you who don't know what that is, um, you know, the nerves from your low back can uh, combine at a certain point, kind of in your um, buttock region, and they combine to form the sciatic nerve, mm -hmm. and it goes down your leg. So a lot of moms have this sharp shooting pain down the back of their leg, um, along with the low back pain. Oh, wow. So um, whether it's that or just low back pain, one thing you can do is stretch a muscle. It's called your piriformis muscle, and that's the muscle that gets really, really tight and can, and can cause that. Um, so Katie knows because she does all of our exercise videos, but there's a video online um, on midatlantic.com slash exercises called uh, the figure four stretch. And that stretch is done lying down on your back. So I'm not going to show you guys how to do that one, but there is a seated version too. Oh, okay. And all you have to do for the seated version is, and hopefully you guys can um, see my legs, but you just have to put one leg up, um, you know, not quite crossing your leg, but in the position I am now. And then you want to sit up with, with good posture and a nice arch in your low back. And all you do is kind of lean forward just like this. And you will feel that okay. um, in your glutes. You're going to feel that stretch right where your piriformis is. So I always like to give people this one because, as you know, if you're out and about, you right. can't lie on the floor and, <laughs> yeah. and do your figure four stretch. Sure. Um, so either of those are, are beneficial Wonderful. for that sciatic-like pain. Um, but ultimately, you know, to bring it back around, chiropractic is, is the main thing that, that I really want to push because every function is controlled by your nervous system. So the reality is when I give you guys all these little tidbits of oils or stretches or whatever to do, while all those are great and can yeah. be helpful to relieve symptoms in the moment, what it comes down to is you can do all the massage in the world, you can put all the essential oils on, you can stretch a muscle as much as you want and be the healthiest with your diet and working out. But if the alignment of your spine isn't correct, those nerves that are going to all the organs, muscles, and tissues in your body, if those aren't functioning properly, then there will be dysfunction in your body and that's what leads to disease. So, you know, number one thing is, is just get checked, guys. So um, that's all I have for you guys this week. Thank you again for joining us for another episode of Coffee and Chiropractic, and make sure you join us next week. Good luck, guys. Cheers. Cheers.